Hey, this is Mike for the Run Testers, and this is our full review of the Saucony Axon 3. Is this one of the best affordable running shoes of 2023? Let's find out. Let's deal with the key stats. The Saucony Axon 3 cost £105 in the UK and $100 in the US, but you can already pick it up for less than its original price. That puts it in and around affordable daily trainer shoes like the Nike Winflow, Pure Velocity Nitro 2, the Reebok Floatride Energy 5, and Decathlon's Kip Run KS900 Lite that Nick has tested on the channel as well. Stats wise, it's got a four millimeter drop, that's 35 millimeters at the heel and 31 millimeters at the forefoot. And our UK size eight weighed in at 246 grams or 8.7 ounces. Upper wise, it's an engineered mesh kind with Saucony's power and cushioning in the midsole. So similar to what you'll find in a Saucony shoe like the Guide 16. The outsole looks to be a thicker one used on the Axon 2 to help give it better grip in wet conditions and make sure it's one that's fit to soak up plenty of running time. So fit for me has been absolutely spot on in my UK size 8 with the Axon 3. Generally I am a UK size 8 in socketing shoes, apart from a couple of shoes I've had some slightly tighter fits. I have had no issues with the Axon 3 in terms of the fit. Pretty happy with the space up front in the toes. Um, good hold of the midfoot, I think you get a good lockdown from these laces. And while the, you know, the tongue isn't generously padded, I felt it sat very comfortably. Um, and didn't kind of move about on my runs either. And you've got similarly, not a massive amount of padding in the heel, but just enough to make sure you've got good comfort and good kind of support there around the heel collar as well. So yeah, for me, based on my quite narrow feet and you know what I've kind of used size-wise and socking these shoes, I found the Axon 3 absolutely fine in my UK size eight. I think generally people are gonna be absolutely fine going true to size in this shoe as well. So in terms of that run test, I've done just under 50K in the Saucony Axon 3 now, and I can't say that I've had a bad run in this shoe. Um, I haven't run in an Axon shoe before. I've obviously run in a lot of different uh, Saucony shoes, ones that cost a little bit more money than this shoe, but I don't think the price really reflects what you get in a shoe here. And I think the types of runs that it excelled for me we're kind of the, actually more the more up tempo runs, which I do think this is a shoe that's able to kind of handle. Um, the midsole is is firm. It's a little bit like the you know it's the same foam that you're getting in the Saucony Guide 16, but I didn't find it was as firm feeling. There's definitely a nice little bit of bounce there, so it makes it an enjoyable ride in general. And then you're getting a, quite a gentle kind of rocker feeling there, just enough to kind of nicely transition you through that kind of uh, running motion and make it feel pretty smooth and pretty enjoyable in general. I think from an upper point of view, um, it's not that kind of thick hugging kind of upper that you get on some shoes, but it does kind of offer enough support. So from that point of view, I think it works when you're running a little bit quicker in this shoe. When I try to ease off, I do think you feel a little bit more of that firmness in it, but it isn't uncomfortable. It didn't make it hard work to run a little bit slower and easier in this shoe. So I do think it has that versatility if you want something that you want to run a little bit easier in, but you also want something you can pick the pace up a little bit. I think, you know, weight wise, I think you could do a little bit of speed work in it as well. I don't think it's out of its wheelhouse to do that either. So if you wanted something that could work at a variety of paces and also in the kind of longer runs, I think it held up pretty well on that point of view. I didn't feel that firmness when I kind of eased off or got a little bit tired and those kind of longer runs it was absolutely fine from that point of view. Outsole wise now, I'd say that I think ultimately there is a little bit more um, rubber, particularly obviously up the front and the heels of this shoe. And from a grip point of view, it's been absolutely fine. I had one pretty treacherous, rainy run in these and they were absolutely fine, like from a kind of pavement and uh, kind of road point of view. Um, I did a little bit of kind of lighter trails with it and I wouldn't have any kind of qualms of doing that. I think it's absolutely fine from that point of view. I'm not seeing any kind of wear or noticeable kind of uh, issues on the outsole despite there being some kind of exposed areas here. So from a gripping and an outsole point of view, very, very happy. It feels like a shoe you could do a lot of mileage in. But ultimately, as I said, I had I didn't have a bad run in this shoe. I think you get a nice little bit of bounce in that ride. I think it does get you kind of give you that kind of nice rocker feel in there as well, which makes it a little bit nicer to run a little bit quicker in. Uh, and yeah, longer runs, it felt absolutely fine from a comfort point of view. I didn't have any issues from that 
um, side of things as well. So yeah, all very positive for me on the Axon 3, a shoe that I've you know, really enjoyed running in overall and I haven't had a bad run in and pleasantly surprised, um, particularly when you know that this is a one of Sockney's cheaper shoes, probably it's, it's cheaper shoe in its collection and I don't think it's necessarily out of place with other shoes that cost a lot more money as well. Okay, so my verdict on the Saucony Axon 3 is that this is a very good, versatile daily trainer shoe available at a very good price. I think if you're looking for something that can work for shorter and longer distances, has a scope to kind of pick the pace up as well and run kind of more up-tempo style runs in, this shoe is very capable of doing that. I think in terms of the, um, the midsole, it's on the firmer side but not overly firm I don't think offers a really nice bounce I think you get generally a really nice kind of rocker ride in it so it makes it an enjoyable shoe to run in overall I don't think it's too heavy on either as well so if you want something that runs relatively well uh, kind of quicker stuff then I think this can work and then outsole durability and grip I've been absolutely kind of satisfied with what you're getting here and what I have found on my runs now if you look at where it sits with other shoes at this price point, so you're looking at things like the Night Wind Flow, um, things like the Pune Velocity Nitro 2, where I've spent a lot of time running in. Uh, Nick's kind of tested the Reebok Float Ride Energy 5, and that kind of sits at this price range, and then the Kip Run shoe um, that sits here as well, too. So I think it sits very well with those other shoes as well. I think the biggest kind of comparisons I can draw with the Pune Velocity Nitro 2, where I think both are versatile shoes, I think you sink in a little bit more in the midsole on the Puma Velocity Nitro 2 probably works a little bit nicer at easier paces just because it doesn't feel as firm but ultimately I do think both of those shoes work very well from a kind of versatility point of view and maybe it looks a little bit nice as well the Puma shoe but ultimately if you're not kind of bothered about looks you're looking for a, as I said a shoe that can work uh, as a daily trainer you don't want to spend a huge amount of money and I said you can find this for less than £100 now as well and I definitely think this is worth looking at as I said I haven't had a bad run in this shoe um, I've enjoyed putting it on every time and you know from all the things I would look for from a daily trainer style shoe this ticks all those kind of key boxes for me ultimately I do wish it looked a little bit nice but you know looks isn't everything ultimately when you get what you get on the Saucony Axon 3 which is a very as I said, solid, versatile daily trainer shoe that I think a lot of people are going to appreciate. Okay, so there you have it. That is our take on the Saucony Axon 3. Now, if you've got any questions about the shoe or other shoes you want to see it compared to, let us know in the comments. As always, like and subscribe, hit that little bell to find out about latest videos, and yeah, we'll see you for the next Run Testers video.